I never thought I would see the day where Black Clover would go from looking like this. What is that? To looking like this for almost two hours. <laughs> and I never thought I'd see the day where people were actually saying that Black Clover is being carried by animation. Black Clover. Like, we're in the craziest timeline. This John don't make no sense, but hey, I'm loving it because we got a fantastic movie dumped on our plates. Almost two Picture hours like of it's almost nonstop action and beautiful animation throughout. I think Periot might be my favorite animation studio working today. The products that they're putting out right now are just... I pleasing to say the least i'm such a big fan of bleach thousand year blood war arc boruto be popping off sometimes i'm not like a consistent boruto watcher and i hate to bring it up here because you know people don't really like that show but hey, i'm just saying boruto looks kind of nice sometimes and this movie oh my god goodness i don't want to make this whole video about the animation of that film because there's so much more to talk about than just how it looks but there does need to be a a little bit of time dedicated to how the movie does look because it is a very important factor especially with the history of black clover and this is by every metric the best black clover has ever looked in the franchise's history. There is so much love and dedication and passion and effort and just great work ethic pumped into this movie. It is of the highest quality and I am so grateful that I finally get to see what Black Clover looks like with a really high budget and some real great production and a lot of time dedicated to it. And that's not to say that there aren't moments within the original anime that aren't really like good to look at and that aren't really well animated, but I mean, come on, it's night and day when you compare this movie to even the best scenes in the Black Clover anime. The amount of frames for even just like the simplest animated points is insane. And there's a moment that just embodies the amount of care and the extra frames that are put in. And it's when Asta and Yuno and the rest of the group are going to fight the Wizard Kings and you get this little interaction between those two characters, Asta and Yuno, and it's just them kind of like acknowledging each other. And there's so many frames in just the subtle movements that the both of them do. It's boggling, bro. It's so good to see Black Clover look this good but that's enough about the animation because like i said there's so many things to talk about when it comes to this movie animation is not just the one but actually let me, let me just say one more thing okay jester when he was fighting yami yeah that looked good <laughs> that looked real good <laughs> but anyways that's enough of animation for now i might circle back around to it because the more i think about the movie the more i think about the animation but l let me focus on something else for now and that something else is going to be the main antagonist of the film conrad and i i gotta say this i appreciate Conrad having an interesting character because more often than not the overly designed or flashy or exaggerated characters lack in that department because I feel like some creators think that if the character looks really cool and has really cool powers then you don't need to give him too much of a character because the audience will pay attention to the design and to the powers. So I'm really thankful that Conrad is more than just one dimensional. Like he's basically Asta pushed to the very, very extreme. They have almost the same goal, but Conrad doesn't feel like the world that Asta wants to work for can be worked towards. There needs to be essentially a great reset. You gotta break everything down and rebuild from the ground up. That's Conrad's mentality. And the dialogue between those two in the final battle, like, that was the peak of the movie, was the dialogue between those two and them interacting and them 
clashing with their ideologies. And one of the basic points of the movie is that neither side is really wrong. It's just about fighting for your belief. And whosoever will is stronger will win in the end. And I love that Asta is essentially like, you want to create this brand new world without actually putting in the work to make this world the way that you want it to be. You want to just kill everyone. It's a great, great parallel. And it's a great, great combo that those two have. That's the best part of the film. The second best part of the film, I'm gonna be honest, is Jester. He damn near stole the show because that character is so fun and he has such awesome powers and I loved seeing him fight against Yami. I already said this before, bro, but the fight between Yami and Jester, it's not even overly long. It's just like that, that animated sequence of sword fighting is some of the best I've ever seen in my entire life, bro. Jester low key, low key might be the strongest one. I know he's actually not. And that might just be me being a Jester fanboy because the dude was great. The voice actor went in, the powers were a spectacle. It was awesome. And seeing you know look so good, oh my gosh. <laughs> There's just so much to love about the Jester fight. Much like there is so much to love about the Princia and Maria Leona fight. Okay, this movie just cemented the reason why I love Maria Leona so much and why she is one of, if not my favorite female characters in all of anime. She's just so bad. <laughs> She's just so cool. And it makes me wonder how Fuego Leon and whatever the little dude's name is, their brother, it makes me wonder how she's even a part of that family. She is so much stronger than the both of them. It's insane. <laughs> and the animation for when Princia and Maria Leona are fighting. Oh my gosh, bro. You remember when Princia calls down all her troops and then Maria Leona just immediately gets rid of them with that flame punch and then the mouth, the, the multiple fists fights back and forth before Princia gets serious. She stabs Mary Leona and Mary Leona just like glasses the area. It's so good. It's so fun to look at. And I'm glad that we got a variety of fights here. Like you get your magical battles, you get your sword fights, you get your hand to hand. It's great. There are two things, however, that were a little bit disappointing when it comes to the fighting department. The first one being Edward's fight with the uh, the Black Bulls. That one, I feel, was the most boring. It, it was cool to see him use his ice powers, and it was cool to see him make those giant monsters. That was really entertaining and really exciting. But, like, when you compare it to every other fight in the movie, it just falls a little bit short. It's still visually pleasing, especially when Noelle gets her magic back, like, fully gets it back, and she can use her spells, and she's doing the Valkyrie dress with the multiple of her because of Gauche. Like, it, it looks pretty good. It just doesn't hold up to the other fights in the movie. And the other disappointing thing was that you don't actually get to see the conclusion of the fights between the other wizard kings and their combatants. Like, you get to see the conclusion of Conrad versus Asta, obviously, because that's the actual main fight of the movie. That's the main plot point of the movie, is those two fighting. But, like, Jester, Princia and Edward all died before you get to see them actually go off. But hey, instead you get Asta using two swords, his regular black sword and the sword of the Wizard King, and you have him turn those two regular swords into giant swords and you have him destroy a meteor. So, you know, the trade is kind of cool. <laughs> also, uh, you get knocked in this movie. <laughs> Just a, a random side note, because that's exactly what he was in the movie. He just, like, appeared and was like, hey, I'm gonna give my magic to, uh, to Asta to help with this whole Sword of the Wizard King thing so he can take down Conrad. Also, Broly movie much? Hey, if you're taking inspiration from Dragon Ball, bro, you know you're doing something right, I'll tell you that much. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I believe that is actually going to do it for this video. I could go on and on talking about Black Clover and its movie, but I'll be here for hours if I do that. So I think I'm gonna have to call it here. Uh, thank you all very much for watching. I hope that you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me 
know in the comment section down below how you feel about this movie. Did you like it? Did you enjoy it? Did you think maybe the story wasn't all that? Did you love the story? Did you like the Wizard Kings? Did you want to see more from them? Let me know everything in the comment section down below, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody!